Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, UG 29. Example calculation of, available moment of inertia of, stiffener ring, and, adequacy check. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. First, let us calculate and see what we are getting. So there are three areas. So I'll use this equation. Find out each and every term. Y1. 15 mm is the thickness. So Y1 is. See we are taking from this ID of the shell. Y1 15 by 2 7.5. Y2. Add the mid part. 90 divided by 2 plus 15 60 mm. Okay. This is simple right. Y1, Y2, Y3. Okay. You can do the calculations. Once we have this Y1, Y2 and Y3. Now the next activity will be to find the LE because I for area calculation I need the length right. 1.1 times under root D naught T. So with this I will be able to get the LE value okay, 192.23. Now I can calculate the area of these three different sections. Okay. So I have A1, A2 and A3. Now I'll do the submission of AN means all the areas. A1, A2, A3. Okay. So this is the total area of this cross sections. Summation of AN, YN. First moment of inertia. Okay. So A1 into I1, A2 into I2, this will give me the summation of A N Y N. Okay. So this is what A N Y N I got. Then I'll be able to find the centroid. So once I divide the summation of A N Y N divided by the total area, we will get the centroid of the combined section. Okay. Now I have all these values, only the Summation of a n y n square is remaining. So let us do that. A1 into y1 square. Okay, all these values we have already calculated, just calculations we have to do. That will give us the summation of complete a1 y1, second moment of inertia we put. Now i1, i2, and i3. These are the individual moment of inertia. Simply considering it as a rectangle. For the bottom most, my HQ, you know, remember whatever is your area which is uh, in line with the rotation axis, okay. Like uh, for this section, the thickness is what is coming or you know, rotating along the axis of rotation. So your thickness will be Q, okay. In the second area, my length 90 mm that is uh, circulating around the center of axis. So that will be Q. Again, for the next one, 10, which is the thickness, that will be the Q. So it is very important because if we do mistake in you know doing the cube of other dimension, complete inertia calculation will change. So now I have, I can add all these individual moment of inertia. I'll be able to get the total moment of inertia. Okay. So now I have calculated all the individual terms, summation of a n y n square plus summation of i, which is individual moment of inertia minus centroid multiplied with a n y n. I have already the values calculated i'll just put all the values there i will be able to get the available moment of inertia which is uh, 89 lakhs okay 89 lakhs mm4 okay now let us compare i have now available i wanted it available to be more than what is required so now let us compare is dash which is the required moment of inertia Okay, and I dash will be the available. 
okay so uh, safkat is asking in it calculation the thickness will be 15 or 15. see the thickness is 18 safkat so we have already removed the 3 mm corrosion allowance okay so it will be uh, 15 only okay great so is dash which is the required moment of inertia as per code and i dash is the available so now you can see here available is more than the required so my stiffener whatever i have selected that is adequate okay i hope you understood this topic we have also uploaded the video of the required moment of inertia the link is given in the description